All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is the Earthmaster out here about 11.01 p.m. California time. 19th of October, 2024 is the date. 3.7 earthquake here across the uh, area of the Himalayas, it looks like. Just outside of probably a northern India area. One of the latest quakes there on the globe. Looking at last 24 hours of earthquake activity here. Uh, as far as any major uptick goes, a lot of deeper activity triggering here into the Tonga Trench once again. Let's go ahead and check out west coast here of California, see what we got going on out here. Uh, there's an earthquake that struck here at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone earlier this afternoon, about 19 miles deep here into the southern end again of the Cascadia mega thrust area. I know it's a scary word, but... Uh, We've been getting a little bit of activity out here recently and just still kind of watching things. No telling when the next big one's going to strike out here. Just always got to be prepared, I suppose. Looking at the trimmer map here tonight shows about 68 epicenters there into the central coast of Oregon. And that's going to be just uh, eh, towards the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Now, trimmer activity occurs in the deeper regions of the subduction zone with the strain area locked area just being offshore there and that uh, is going to be the um, cascadia mega thrust area capable of producing at least a 9.0 the last one of course was back in uh, 1700 so 324 years ago northern california earthquake activity aside from that fairly quiet not a whole lot going on there across the bay area uh, down along the central coast here around the san luis obispo area couple smaller earthquakes there in the microquake range and uh, southern california here uh there's one earthquake right here on the bend area a little one pointer from uh, last night don't see too much earthquake activity on here but uh a little earthquake there this morning a couple earthquakes around the los angeles area here and there looks like the uh peralta is that right peralta alta Alta Hills Vault. Seen a, a little bit of movement out here. 1.7 and a couple other smaller quakes there this evening. That's kind of some newer activity. It's been a, been a little while since I've seen any movement here specifically on this area. One up here along the Puente Hills Thrust Fault from this morning. And uh, one underneath the Paramount area of California. Not for sure which fault system that's associated with, but uh, a small uptick here in earthquake activity across Southern California. Uh, at various locations down along the Salton Sea area getting uh, some earthquake activity stirring up here as well a little bit from this morning and also this evening here with a 1.3 and a 1.5 so really nothing major going on here nothing above 2.5 but still seeing uh, some scattered earthquake activity out here across various locations there of Southern California uh, nothing major across Yellowstone, but uh, as always, I do like to double check here, see what we have. Could be seen a big earthquake swarm here, and a lot of times the USGS, the USGS tends to leave it out. Uh, really not seeing anything showing up, though, at least on these maps here. Maybe a couple smaller earthquakes here in the last 24 hours, but really, that uh, could be any given day there. So really nothing major going on across that area of the country. And the rest of the world, or the rest of the country out here, fairly quiet, aside from some uh, oil field operations out there. Seen some earthquake activity. Big Island of Hawaii, Mauna Loa. What do we got going on over here? Pretty shallow earthquake here, 2.3 on the western side here, Mauna Loa. So need to need to go over here real quick and see what we got going on here across the area. of the Mauna Loa area, which is uh, green. Not seeing anything of any unusual activity there. I want to check out seismograph station around the area, see what's going on over here. I guess there's one over here. Let me see here. There's the uh, most recent quake there showing up. That's going to be that two-pointer here in the last few minutes. A handful of smaller quakes as well out there in the last 24 hours, but really nothing of any uh major concern it's been a little while since i've checked this uh area for any seismograph or uh gps um 
noticeable differences out here. I would you know would say, like far as inflation goes, I'm really not seeing anything significant. And of course, looks like a little bit here since that previous eruption back in 2022. Slow rise, but nowhere near what we had been at before. That was a considerable rise back then, right before the eruption. But slowly, slowly uh, still going up. Kilauea Volcano over here. See what we got uh, going on here. Let's check out the deformation data across this area of Hawaii, which uh, I'm not for sure what this is here. It looks like some type of uh, manual adjustment. And they still, it doesn't look like they fixed this area here yet. The uh, past month, past 30 days of activity, shown a loss of data and it just consistently level in the past week or so. So I'm not for sure what's going on there, but it looks a little on the odd side. Same for this here. It looks like the only thing that's actually maybe working is the daily or the uh, past two days chart here. I'm not for sure what's going on with that. Looks a little suspicious. Definitely doesn't look right. So, but nothing major going on here for earthquake activity. Still getting a small amount of earthquake movement out towards the Loihi Seamount, but uh, overall, things just kind of uh, as is out there for now across the Big Island. Make sure the bells are off, which they are. Um, Alaska area. Well, 2.9 later this or earlier this afternoon. Aside from that, mostly smaller microquakes out here around the Cook Inlet, Anchorage area, up through Denali. Nothing of uh, any significance going on there for now. Let's check out the Earthquake 3D Globe. See what we have out here. The western areas of the Pacific Plate. Minimal older movement there across Japan and the Kuril Kamchatka. A little bit of clustering going on here across the area of the Banda Sea area. Down here. Uh, 5.1 earlier this morning and uh, a more recent 4.8 over here across the area of the Philippine Trench. Looks a little quiet though. Uh, I guess the only other area of somewhat noticeable uptick is going to be South America area. Getting uh, a little bit of swarming going on there across the Peru Chile Trench. 3.4 in that mix as well. Also, the Middle America trend share showing a little bit of elevated activity. Uh, so I suppose we'll see what happens here overnight. Puerto Rico. Small amount of swarming here in this little area. Southwestern edge of Puerto Rico. This is very common, though. I've wa been watching this for a couple of years. It's in between a couple different trough zones, uh, subduction zones here. And uh, it tends to always get the squeeze put on the Puerto Rico area. The Mariotas Trough south and the Puerto Rico Trench up north kind of raising up this uh, area. And, and a lot of times we'll see a lot of earthquake activity out there. But nothing big for now. Um, looking at the flare chart here, looks like there's some type of huge long duration event taking place here. Um, I'm guessing it's not on the earth facing side of the sun, but we got something going on out there. I'm starting to wonder if it's going to be this newer, re well, it's an older region, but coming back around the bend again, these sunspots that I've been talking about here on the far side, we can just barely see some of the magnetic arches here that are stretching up above those sunspots on the far eastern side of the sun. Um, I'm uh, guessing we're going to see quite the activity stirring up here. Just looking at that image. Uh, let's see what we got here in the latest imagery. Looks like one of the sunspots out there. A couple different ones. Let me look at the far side here again. See if it's been updated. Uh, yeah, looks like it is. Might be uh, almost a day old here, but there's a, a region here. A group of older sunspots that was out here last time around. This is the far side. This is the eastern limb of the sun. These are coming back into the Earth directed view here, it looks like. And uh, according to some of that X ray background activity, that's a very active region out there. So we're going to have to watch that as it uh, makes its. Um, De I can't really say de debut because it's an older sunspot, which is going to have a newer name out here, a newer sunspot number, but uh, it's pretty active. At least looking at the uh, graph here and the information that's coming in. Right now, the flare threat somewhat limited, 10% for the X flare. C flare 
at 99 and M flare at 60% chance. Uh, no major roars in the forecast here, folks. And again, we'll watch uh, a couple different regions coming around the eastern limb there in the coming days. All these other sunspots here that are currently facing the Earth are really of no noteworthy value. National Hurricane Center out here. Got a little tropical system down into the Mex southern Mexico area. Looks like a pretty decent chance of some type of tropical cyclone formation here in the coming days. Uh, the Atlantic got Oscar out here. Very quick developing hurricane out um, around the Dominican Republic area, it looks like. Got... Uh, Oh, 85 mile per hour sustained winds here. That is expected to move off to the northeast and not towards the land here. But uh, they are dealing with some tropical systems out there in that area of the world. Got Nadine down here. Really not expecting much uh, from that at uh, the moment. But there is definitely uh, some potential development from that system. Let's go ahead and go over here to the uh, numerical models and we'll check out the forecast down there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And we'll use, uh, well, I guess we'll use this. Well, I guess we can kind of see what's happening down there. There's that uh, tropical system here down around the Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic area. Let's go ahead and put this into motion and see what we have. Um, really nothing in terms of threats to the states there, which is good news. Maybe some trop some type of system there coming into the Gulf of Mexico around the end of uh, October. But again, that's a ways out. That's uh, 10, 11, 12 days or so into the uh, forecast. So that could obviously change, but we'll, we'll watch that. California, looks like maybe a little bit of systems coming in there. Over the uh, next couple of weeks or so, oh, I'm just I'm, re I'm really ready for some cooler weather out here. It's it wasn't too bad today. We hit about 89, and that's still pretty warm for October for us. It's supposed to be down around 80 for an average high temperature, but uh, you know, it's I'll take 80 over 104. That's for uh, that's for certain. So these guys up here in the northern plains, Canada area, looks like they're going to be cooking for a little bit with well above average temperatures as we head into early this coming week cooler weather out across the Pacific Northwest for now and uh, just a mixed bag of activity looks like around October or so or uh, Halloween time got some cooler weather coming into the California region um, and maybe some warmer temperatures out there around the Great Lakes northward northeast getting in on some uh, warmer weather as well for Halloween and uh, it's just a, a lot of mixed bag of stuff out here that's a uh, very typical around this pattern, around this season. Fall season here really gets things stirred up across the northern hemisphere as we head deeper into the winter months, which I am a big fan of. Bring on the cold. I know a lot of people don't like the cold, but yeah, I'll trade. I'll, I'll live anywhere where it's colder compared to 100 degrees every single day all summer. I am done with it. I, you know, I've had just about as much as I can take. And it's it, you know, everyone's asking, why don't you just move? Go ahead and move. That's easier said than done, right? When you got kids in the, in the school system and got kind of a, you know, a homestead here and, and roots, you know, I would love to. But ultimately right now there's, you know, some things holding us back from just picking up and going somewhere up north. Um, or even to the northeast. I mean, there's a lot of cool areas up here. I would love to live up around Maine. Get those northeast nor'easters. Oh yeah, that would be uh, my type of weather. Anyway, folks, I um, hope everyone's having a good, safe Saturday night. Nothing major going on out here in the earthquake world. All is uh, better. Knock on some wood here, but all is quiet for now. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Sunday morning update. Have a good night, folks. Get some sleep, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.